okay so good morning everybody and today we're gonna we're going to have some fun hopefully in uh, analyzing some of the designs that you submitted uh, in the lab one so for the first half of this class uh, we'll try we'll try to apply at least uh, some uh, some examples some part of the Nissan heuristics uh, to some of the design that was submitted and so we can you know, have uh, some idea of how to how to, how to translate the instinct uh, about uh, whether uh, a website or, or an interface is good or not into something more structured that can be expressed uh, according to the NISA guidelines that I printed for myself so that we can have the refer I can have the reference while we are looking at, the, at your submissions. Hmm? Uh, and then in the second uh, part of this class, uh, I'd like to start uh, the, the last topic that is uh, the visual design where we actually try to put into practice uh, the, the construction of the, of the interface, but that's for later. So <coughs> first of all, I analyze the submission for your lab one and I have some uh, <coughs> high level comments, general comments. Uh, it was nice to see that you had uh, really a wide uh, spectrum of submissions, uh, so um, most of them were not uh, obvious, were not the trivial ones, were not the easy ones, so you actually try to find uh, some, some new uh, some, uh, interface to, to analyze. And uh, what appears is that uh, even at the first glance of this interface, uh, some usability problems can already be found. No, you already found them uh probably because you already used that website so you were already, already aware huh, of its problems but uh, uh, we see that the, the major issues are very easy to find no? that's why we stress and at this point we ask ourselves why is that why are those interfaces so bad if it's so easy to spot the, the difficulty or the problems okay just because that this, this demonstrates you know, the, the, mm, the low effort that usability design requires in many cases. If before publishing and just forgetting about that, they only had a, a, a preliminary version, a beta, and then they showed that to three people, then they would have um, avoided many mistakes, mm -hmm. like we uh, uh, found here. Mm -hmm. There are some easy targets, you know, like uh, Fiery on, red, on the Red Cross uh, is analyzing uh, university websites or public websites uh, for usability issues. Uh, why is that? That's a big, uh, the real question. So why are some kind of institutions really, really bad at providing services? Mm, I find two reasons mainly. One is uh, uh, because they don't care. Uh, and they don't care because they don't know they don't have probably the skills and uh, they know that they cannot lose uh, any customer or opportunity due to the bad usability if the usability for uh, you know the procedure for uh, doing the um, the graduation uh, uh, to apply for graduation okay so the domanda di laurea if the usability of that procedure is very complex well you will do it anyway it's not that you have any other, other options okay <laughs> there so that's one um one possibility the other possibility is also that some of the services that public administrations in general offer are very complex now, if you think how many things you can do or you or you need to do on you know the polytechnic website it's far more complex than what you are doing with facebook for example which is already a rich or with instagram or whatever there are already very rich applications but if you just list how many things you can do there are a few and so putting together many uh, many different services or subservices or information is much more difficult than having a focused application and trying to invest all your uh, say in, in uh, usability on that hmm. so that's the real challenge making uh, functionally complex systems so having a system that has a high 
functional complexity it does have many functions and they these functions are, are interrelated in complex ways that's the, that's the nature of the system and but trying to make don't say don't show the complexity of the functionality and don't translate it as a complexity of, of the interface so the real challenge is making a simple interface for a complex system right now what we are doing is uh, when we have uh, or in many cases when we have a complex system then the interface will also be complex and there's no reason for that but the reason is design a lacking design step uh, to simplify the interface and to manage the complexity you, you cannot throw the complexity away you ma you must you know funnel it through the proper channel through the proper interfaces well designed hmm? uh so there are some easy targets to fame hmm, for the hall of fame so especially if you have uh, billions and billions to spare of course you can spare some extra money for doing some good usability or is that the other way around you get to have millions and millions to spare because your application has been used by a lot of people because it's easy to and uh, immediate and easy and nice uh, and fun to use hmm? so uh all, all these products here are so famous also because they are usable and since they are so famous and rich they can invest in more and more uh, usability and fun uh, to use hmm? there's no guarantee that you can become a billionaire if you are doing good usability hmm? there are just some data sample points but there's no uh, correlation causation in that hmm? um, in the form you have to submit the purpose of the sy of the system that you analyzed and the motivation okay you found it difficult in many cases you had to simplify it uh, to describe the goal of the application so that's also um, a point to reason about uh, uh, in some cases you submitted a website and you were not able to explain in a few words in very few words four five six words what the website is about or it was something very generic uh, and so maybe it's the fault of the website that doesn't have a clear focus and so even for the potential users understanding at the first glance what this is about what this web uh, site is about uh, would be important so if you, you analyze it for um, a while and you didn't come out with a, with a good synthesis so either you wrote something very very general this site is for travel or something which was three lines long okay so in between there are, there are only some cases not uh, but this is also a uh, warning sign when we have difficulty in identifying the focus of an application it means that this focus is not well defined or not well communicated by the application itself hmm. and uh, okay the motivations were very varying in structure so i pasted those in this uh, in these slides uh, in some cases you just have one line motivation it's very good full stop and uh, in uh, in other cases people wrote uh, a full page of of, uh, of comments which is good but it's also difficult to analyze huh? so that's that's the reason why we are heuristics also so we have a structured way of conveying this information the right amount of information but especially an actionable format so information that can be used later to filter to sort to priori prioritize to redesign and so on and uh, one negative comment is that some of the screenshots you took uh, laziness number one were useless screenshots it was not actual screenshots for the application but something that was took uh, was taken from i don't know the uh, registration page so i don't care the registration page is not the application you are commenting you are not commenting the same thing or from some marketing material from an advertisement or some picture that you found on the internet so it's much better if you take the screenshot yourself for
for what you are doing no? you will see some of them so in those cases the comments were you know i'm making a comment onto something that i'm not currently using i'm not showing you you know the guilty person on the spot i found you you were there no it's something that they told me about so the comment about usability is not so strong okay so what i did is also to try i shuffled all the submissions so i don't i don't care i don't remember i don't have any way to go back to who submitted uh, uh, each of them i really don't care i try to categorize them by broad categories uh, it was not easy uh, as always uh, uh, putting labels on things were, is, is never easy and uh, but okay this was the first attempt uh, by construction the number of uh, bad and the number of good have more or less the same total is not exactly equal because there are some submissions that are uh, some website were submitted more than once more than one person so the total is not uh, 42 or something like that okay the, the number of, of groups uh, times four but they are aligned so uh, by by definition we have as many bad sites uh, and as we have uh, uh, good websites it's so interesting to see where the good ones go and when the bad ones are concentrated so the bad ones uh, the good ones uh, well, are here on transportation and travel it means that you care a lot because in total you submitted 28 examples of this category compared to other categories so it's uh, a domain that you care a lot you know it, you know it you use it because you submit it so it's a consequence of the user population but in general they are good they're better than others that are there are other domains like system utilities or public administrations that uh, where the majority the high majority of uh, submissions were bad hmm? um, okay some are more half and half or something like that so it would be interesting to to see how this sample across the years uh, now will uh, will grow and we each direction and uh, one question which is not for today is uh, can we spot a pattern so uh, where are or what are the conditions if we are if we were doing some you know machine learning or uh, whatever about uh, what are the features that tend to predict a good usability uh, versus tending to predict a bad usability and the features from of course the domain or the um, creator or the fact that there are public or private services or there are no strict rules uh, but there are some trends uh, that we need to work on but it's another issue so uh, let's see some of these uh, examples and try to analyze them the first category found was teaching so for example we have this uh, university information system that was the on the title i had the, descri the description that you provided and on the right uh, I have the motiv motivation I copied that in some cases as I said the description was shortened uh, so this is the uh, intuitive motivation hmm? uh, saying that this website is bad and uh, okay we agree we all agree that it's bad but why is it so let's try maybe to frame the comments of this website in the form of uh, usability heuristics so the first one is uh, the visibility of system status does it apply here what does it mean the visibility of system status that the system should always tell us or give us hints about what it's doing behind the, the scenes um, well that right now is not doing very much it's a home page of an institution so actually there's no status to show unless we can find some for example a good status for a university front page would be the class schedules you know there was a nice thing i did some some times ago when the on the big monitors on the on the corridors on the hallways here at the polytechnic 
every now and then they just show the class schedule for the uh, rooms in that uh, corridor in that hallway and it's a nice thing to see it can be useful but it's also sharing information about what's happening you see some strange course uh, you get you you know it uh, stimulates your curiosity or whatever so a lot of a lot is happening inside the university none of this is shown by the website hmm? that's a question to reason but formally there's nothing really no procedure going on right now so the system status is not a priority it could be some you know the um, as far as the classification of the uh, severity it would be a zero because it will be a room it's not a, re a real usability problem now but it could be space for improvement think about what's happening not in the website what's happening in the reality of your campus and try to understand which bits of information can be shown for more engagement hmm? okay match this between the system and the real world this one is difficult it's wrong at all levels here because okay we know what the real world for a university is but we have nothing to match here uh, for example there are latest news okay there's a, w a left menu about basically the organizational structure of the university department services students welcome programs what's the difference between students and programs i don't know if i'm a student i'm there for a study program probably but so there's actually no match between what i have in mind and what's shown here employment and procurement on the top right but there's also uh serve staff or services here so is it staff related to employment is that employment in the sense that the university is seeking people to employ or employment for students that seek for employment after the graduation hmm? recruitment and procurement employment opportunities are in these scholarships it doesn't they don't they don't tell us clearly what what they mean so if we have a, in mind something that i'm a student i have a workflow in my life i have some tasks to do I go in different places at different times because of what I have to do. I don't find it here. Attending classes, where is that? <coughs> Enrolling, where is it? Hmm? You have to guess that probably enrolling is inside programs. I don't know. Only welcome? No, the welcome is just useless stuff usually how to get how to get by car and and so on Ad admissions probably and it's nice that admission is sort of an arrow pointing out outwards going away hmm. so the match between the system and the real world uh, is very bad here and we can have a list of things that uh, uh, in the real world the, the user mind no? have a meaning and it's not represented here user control and freedom well the freedom is very high because the user can click anywhere mm, can so for this one i would say the user has too much freedom mm, because it's not structured in any way we see examples later also consistency in standards uh, so consistency and standards consistency in the user interface or in the 
naming of, of stuff or in the location of items so it's very difficult remember the consistency can be across items in the same page across different pages or across different websites so across different pages we cannot check it because you only have one page so let's check it where the consistency are among elements of the same page or among uh, this page and the conventions set by the broader set of all other websites mm. um, so for example i have a press release here and the latest news there aren't they the same or maybe press release is something more technical for journalists but why not put it inside or beside the latest news so it's a consistency problem a similar information put in different places with different names hmm? um, i don't see any search function here or or do you so it's also a convention that is broken especially in a, such a bad organization like that uh, it's another issue there um, there are strange icons I, I, it's difficult to see but this is a small icon of a lock it's an open lock what does it mean i don't know usually locks mean security or but in that position the first one is uh, pt so it's a language portuguese the second is a question mark so it would be help but it is disabled so on the front page you can have no help I want to, well, I, this, this is what i'm telling hmm, to my users and uh, the third one is uh, a printer so maybe print this page and the fourth one is a lock i don't know what it's uh, what's about okay so from the consistent point of view we can find uh, a lot of problems also error prevention so we are not uh, many usability apply more when you have a structured process so right here preventing errors would mean basically trying to clarify what happens for example on the lock if i don't know what it is i would risk clicking on it and then maybe something not wrong but not what i wanted would happen and there's no way you know, to prevent it but it doesn't really apply here hmm? there are no input data it depends probably how this username and password login form is handled whether i can prevent some clicking yeah, by the way there's this lock here that looks like the one on the top we don't know if they're related or not uh, recognition rather than recall in this case is not a big problem we don't have to recall anything there's nothing that we have to remember the recognition is not very good because i resolve the name of the categories are not very clear and in many cases we only have one word which is difficult to examine probably a longer description would help help recall but so sorry help recognition but we are not asking any recall here so it's not so bad flexibility and efficiency i don't think that this web page is doing anything easier for us no shortcuts no direct links no quick links or whatever so there are no violations of the guidelines but also the website is not doing anything no, for helping us aesthetics and minimalistic design i don't know your taste is but from the aesthetic point of view it's a mess there's no rules about uh, how the items are put on this page what's what's in the left what's in the right why is this calendar here what, what, what is it showing what's the purpose of this and why is it in this area why they feel it's so important 
filter all of what of the events is this a calendar for the events we don't know hmm? helping users recognize diagnose and recover from errors again doesn't apply really because there's not interaction here help and documentation as we said is missing they, they say we thought about help and we decided not to provide it okay but you know uh, university home pages are really an easy target uh, i remember some some years ago it's a very famous uh, comic uh, from xkcd you should follow this do you and um, that's uh, a fun way of uh, of uh, comparing what people are, are looking for in a university website and what really the university website uh, contains and okay it's a fun comic but uh, they say that the only real point in common is the name of the school so all other information press releases the virtual tour and events uh, and slideshows and so on is on the website pages but nobody cares and whatever you care doesn't appear for example the academic calendar uh, on the on that website there was probably an event calendar which is not so important given that the most of the, the most important uh, activities that happen there are academic ones so exams classes and so on hmm? how to apply list of phone numbers and emails okay we have that okay in the, in the, in the polytechnic so that's the a general comment that you in many in many cases uh, what you s what what the managers think that they want to show people is actually not people want to see hmm? okay this goes on for some other submissions about uh, uh, teaching uh, this one is also very bad uh, from the design point of view for the color for, for a, uh, it was the website of one course about information coding theory so they coded also the web page so that it was unreadable uh, for the colors for the fonts so really and this other one this uh, is really funny because it's a it's an art department i i i, I checked that because I, I i was sure it was a fake uh, uh, it was a joke on me but it's really uh, <laughs> it's on the yale.edu domain so it's it's really from the yale university it's not the latest university in the world and the art department uh, was so brave <laughs> to publish this I, I don't know enough bad words um, it doesn't make any any sense at all okay all this the background it, it's a department of a university okay let's let's forget about the resolution probably they're stuck into screens with a, a six or eight hundred pixel resolution so their web design is just one third of what people are today seeing but uh, okay the upgrade to the website is in progress october number three i don't know the year we should check the the, um, the internet archive to see how many years ago they wrote this that they realized probably uh, that the website uh, needed some some redesign but they, they they got lost into the art thinking probably uh, and you submitted also two of them uh, <laughs> from polytech two or three from polytechnicon this is a good example because uh, it's nice looking you see it from the first sight okay it's nice it's not uh, as ugly as the uh, one before you know dark there are no uh, turtles in the background uh, the font uh, is clear is, but uh, what's the issue is that the real information that you are seeking for is not shown is not visible here you are coming here for finding the slides the exercises the schedule it's there three pages below all the information that you have 
above the fold is useless or can be useful the, for the first time the name of the course okay we know that okay don't repeat it twice and the instructors are very good people but we don't care about seeing them every time because it's more important to have the material so it's there but it's not easy to find hmm? we have not a good visibility or what's the current material the latest material the next the next uh, you know submission date or whatever is not very visible and uh, recognition is also not good because uh, we don't know where maybe content material and schedule and should be probably later I, it, I, it's not clear again about consistency whether this menu here points to different sections of this page or to separate pages so i see here that they have content material so, so it, what i want do i find it if i scroll down and why i don't know that because there are something misleading instructors and lecturers so there's, a, there's an inconsistency here so does lecturers point and i see this in the first screen so my brain saying okay if i click on lectures probably will bring me to the instructors they are jo just mislabeled it or they have a different concept of lecturers that is different from instructors and so it will lead me to a different page so after the first and again this confusion is reinforced because the first one matches so i don't know whether these ones would match in some way in some fuzzy way these sections or they relate to different pages so is the material on this page or not i don't know they are doing any attempt to mislead me okay and this other one uh, the menu is proposed twice do you say because there's a teaching research people and then teaching research people as if they didn't have anything more interesting to show here the first fold of the home page should not therefore repeat in the menu with undecodable icons so would you be able to decode these icons without having the label besides hmm? so you are just wasting space and opportunities no, for providing information um, this one is also there was some comments here with the, the idizu website uh, this was, was the, one of the, those that you uh, didn't find a good description you just wrote university students uh, doesn't mean anything so what the purpose of this website and um, doesn't have the login form on the top left corner corner so where is it I, I don't I, do, I don't see it really if you are using this website where is the login form is in the bottom I would never have guessed hmm? um, inside the drop-down menu so hiding uh, a key functionality okay and uh, one uh, uh, website which is very strange or it's really fun actually visiting that is uh, uh there was flagged as good uh, it, I, I put that into teaching because in some ways uh, educational material is a website that will show you the solar system in scale and so you actually will spend the next uh, 40 or 50 minutes uh, scrolling through void space uh, fortunately there is some there are some links for going faster than light uh, or or jump into to a planet or whatever but it's useful because it's fun and gives you more or less a sense of the size uh, of the space hmm? it just does one thing and does it well and you discover the controls it's the, um, there's a good discoverability because if you visit the, this website initially you start scrolling and when you see that by scrolling you will grow older 
by years and years before you uh, reach the end you look for something to make it faster and so there are some icons that will go uh, set you for example to the light of speed and then uh, there are some uh, ticks uh, on the on the line on the distance line that will jump you directly to the planet so you will discover that as you go hmm? so that's a good uh, exploration it's a very atypical website hmm? um, okay public administration most of them are negative ones probably by far the best price is for the imps website which is one of the most uh, impossible to navigate uh, website in the world and uh, because it puts together mm, hundreds of different services uh, in, a, in a totally uh, impossible way what they do just to demonstrate that they they, they, they they gave up any attempt at, at classification if you find a, a, um, some some grant to apply or some procedure to follow you see that in the instructions they give you a code a b 27 4 and you have to put the code into the search engine so that it will bring you closer to the page that you need so they have no uh, hope that you can find the services by browsing because they already give you something you know avoiding codes is one of the uh, key principles uh, about the matching system in their world being explicit not giving so they, they really gave up so this uh, uh this is a website of um asl so the health uh, organization where again it also applies to the uh, what we say for the university it gives a lot of information except the useful one except the one that you are looking for where are the hospitals which is the timetable where are the services how do i reserve an exam or whatever it's uh, hidden somewhere probably hmm? uh, again and we have a, a, a list of uh, uh, city websites so this one is from what wow, nice they they don't even put the name of the municipality at the beginning of the, of the website will be Teramo but we only discovered it here uh, at the beginning uh, we, we, you expect you should expect at least the name at the top okay it's missing or this this other one that actually was uh, Benevento was uh, realized in different times uh, with different uh, uh, styles so some part of the website is designing one style when you click somewhere you go to another website which is totally different so you never know whether you're still on that website or not so much for consistency hmm? and user control um, the city of torino they are investing a lot in simplifying the home page but uh, all of the information that you seek uh, relies on this box here on how good you are at guessing where the information you need uh, is behind one of these uh, uh, labels and uh, as a category is not very good for example house housing and multimedia they don't belong in the same list it's not a category it's a category of what a set of categories so categorization takes uh, a universe and, and uh, cuts it into dif uh, different pieces according to one criteria there's no criterion here there are a set of mixture of so uh, these labels don't help us in understanding the structure of the website in making a mental model how it works they should have been grouped in different subgroups probably because they mean maybe they are um, some of them are about the topics uh, some of them are about the services online guides and, and useful information so it means that all the information elsewhere is not useful 
everything useful is in here mm -hmm. and they put it also in a what's that alphabetical order by rows nobody's reading left to right on the website on a box like this i would read by columns hmm? okay this is another, another example here where in a small village where the website doesn't tell anything about the village actually only about the history or about the legends or whatever and uh, since all the websites of municipalities are so good there is also one website that tries to collect information from all of them which is again uh, putting together information with no real uh, connection so a mixture of information with no clear structure the only structured thing is this one okay you need to navigate from a geographical point of view but then if i'm talking about the municipalities why should they care about the central governments hmm? okay so there was also a comment a long comment on the postal service it's another one with the IMSS one it's, uh, it's very good at having some services that don't work usually well hidden and on the websites uh, you have uh, again uh, um, for example this label always worries me Servizi al cittadino so the services are here and all the rest don't they contain a service so what about uh, conti carte finanziamenti is there just information here and no real services hmm? so it's uh, again we don't know and by the way if you are not if you don't have enough uh, service al cittadino is just beside uh, to service online so fair fighters okay you have examples uh, there were i don't know whether it was a mistake or not but this one was actually flagged as a good uh, website it's another asl the other one from uh, the theory municipality and i couldn't uh, understand from the comment uh, whether it was more positive or more negative because there were yes or no comments uh, i don't think it's much better than the others but it was positive it's the, the only positive one in this series audio audio video and streaming uh, uh, this is very nice it's an application for checking your uh, wi-fi cameras and actually what happens is the numbers below let you select which cameras you're seeing above match between the system and the real world is zero because how can you remember whether the bathroom camera is number six or seven and uh, if i select camera number three what does it show there are four of them shown here so what is the avoiding errors or understanding uh, the system behavior there's no recognition here i have to remember how to change the block here so probably i have to select this one and then select a number no recall no help no consistency no visibility hmm? so it's uh, quite bad and then there are some icons below that this one probably is take a picture a snapshot of what of the current selected camera or the current group of camera being shown and the first one looks like a stop button it's a square and the second one also looks like a disconnect for maybe so what's the difference between stop and disconnect w if they mean this i don't know uh this uh i didn't know where to put this because whether to put it because it's illegal but uh, 
uh, <laughs> websites uh, for streaming anime and other contents for, for free means illegally uh, where actually you can you cannot find what you're looking for so it's uh, the content is there but there's no categorization there's no way of uh, searching for it and so so it looks like uh, nice the beginning at the front uh, but one if you probably need to look look at one of these three you're fine but if you need uh, to search there's an explore with the word icon i don't know why the word should give you the, the idea of exploration and uh, i won't send to the police the picture of the of the user <laughs> uh, this one was good was classified as good recording voice tracks uh. and you see that at first sight you you immediately recognize what the different functions are doing what you can do hmm? play pause and record the current one and then there are other screens for the details of a recording and for the list of recordings The only thing that was not clear to me from these screens is how to move from one to the other. So I, I guess that by, by clicking on one of these, I will get to the detail screen. Well, the only suggestion is that there are different icons selected at the bottom. So the center one is probably for recording and the left one is for listening. Mm -hmm. The icon for listening is not so clear to me. I would have put something like folders probably to say this is the archive of your recordings mm, because I can listen also here but these are minor issues or minor consistency issues all the rest was easy to find and and essential basically and they also did the effort of uh, sizing the different elements consistently with their frequency of usage or their usefulness so play and stop is larger than anything else and then we have uh, forward and backwards and stop and then this one like repeat or shuffle are just much smaller because you don't need them very frequently uh, somebody also likes this website is another really legal uh, one um, I, I I don't see why I don't, I don't the only good part here is that the there are the the, so the most uh, frequently watched series so it maybe it's faster to look at them but then we have uh, some confusion about what are what is a title what is a category uh aggiornamento episodi means the latest episodes uh, is this a title for all this and so if it is what's the role of the top 10 in the month top uh, scores in the month or this is a title for this list and this is a link to another page visually is not very clear hmm? this one is legal it's uh, spotify and uh, i would I, I i always some some i always get lost uh, in uh, playlists and stations and, and radio stations and so uh, there are a lot of i i personally have a lot of confusion when using um spotify especially for searching uh but uh, for the playing part is quite uh, clear hmm. i wouldn't have given probably high score to that oh so this is double sorry and this uh youtube which is really very direct uh, and where uh, there were two people who submitted uh, two groups uh, that submitted youtube and shazam also was uh, mentioned by two persons and this is an example of a very minimalistic application it does one thing okay but it doesn't get into in the way of doing that so it gives you the, the basic tools for for finding the song uh, transportation which is a very big category um, 
for example this one is a weather website or is a probably something that is just a space for advertising uh, it has a lot of categories a lot of menus but it's very confusing uh, for example we have weather maps uh, and then we have the euro forecast for example should shouldn't this belong to maps and why do we need a map section when you just click on the map probably hmm? so it's very uh, there's a lot of information but it's not very easy to find huh? so uh, Europe forecast and world forecast Europe are they the same hmm? so probably a reorganization of, of content would be useful okay uh, this one it's uh, it looks like the Rome transportation authority and uh, it just you know a, a mixture of different colors and shapes with no clear organization you have uh, three ways three different ways of, of accessing to the, the schedule of the transport transports they should be the, the same or they should be integrated in some way okay depending on what information you have and then you have some static information here with the twitter stream we, we don't care some advertisement a lot of advertisement parking here is the same as here or not so again there's a lot of confusion here uh, a bad one was also the or oh, the two people submitted one uh, submitted the, the mobile to bike application the other the website for to bikes so both the mobile and the uh, the website were not appreciated at all because they are not so easy to use and uh, the, uh, especially this one is doesn't give you ma much information it gives you some locations but of what for what time can you reserve there's no probably you need to tap on this to see some options but there are no you know you see in, in the bottom of the top there are no actions to do so what I, what can i do there's no visibility about the possible actions hmm? uh, this one is another for finding finding information about the sudden in this case company and this form for searching timetables isn't the same as this uh, orari calculator per course one don't they give you the same information hmm? again we don't know maybe it's slightly different maybe not and this one is curious because the one group that said that this group this website was bad and the another group that said that this was the, the same website was good hmm? maybe there it has some good or some bad or, and it also depends on the familiarity usually you, you use it a lot you learned its way huh? i thought that that would be interesting to to, to go into more details about this uh, uh, everybody likes Flixbus. There was two submissions about uh, uh, a positive way, and Flixbus is not much different from this one, as the kind of service they offer. The main difference is that this one is much more focused. Ninety-nine percent of people come to this app uh, or to this website for one reason. Okay, let's start with those. Then, if they want more. They will be another, are altro, others, and they will find it. In this case, it designed the other way around. Here is the other, other stuff, and then you can look for the details of what 99% of the people need. 
and this figure 99 or whatever percent uh, is known to the developers because you go into the web statistics of the website you know where people are, cl are clicking so just take that information into account uh blah blah car is also again is very streamlined uh, as this uh, as a car to go application uh, compared to the to bike one you see that that's uh, it's much very similar but there's something more some time here time to go there th the missing time well, how much time do you have some missing and there's an indication that there's a menu in the other case there was not, no hint we know that if we need to do something okay you are the location the gps position so some controls one two three four controls in the corners that tell you there's something to explore hmm? so you don't have to guess uh okay booking or this was uh, airbnb You see, they are so famous that they don't even put, need to put the logo on the, in the top. The logo of Airbnb is just here. And you recognize it. They don't want to waste precious space to tell who they are. It's more precious that you find uh, what you're looking for. Hmm? Uh, it's a telepass application. Uh, Trivago again was uh, considered as a good one and it, I, I skip some of them because there are so many you see that many of the good ones uh, are very famous yes, you know the multi-million or multi-billion company this one is uh, really an example a counter example of a small application developed by one person which is uh, really well done and is used, is used by everybody traveling by train more than once uh, and it's much better than the official one uh, the official application from the rail the railway providers uh, okay this is one for trains and google maps even if google maps is very it seems simple but it's very complex to use in, many, in some cases and somebody also liked the GTT website. I, maybe you have some parent working there or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and the same for uh, Trenitalia. Okay, gaming was a surprise. Mostly negative comments. So one would imagine that a gaming website would, would care a lot about the interaction. This one is, again, it's, uh, at first sight is very nice because it suggests uh, many different games you just have to click. The issue here is, uh, okay, if you find uh, the one you want, you just click for the first, uh, first time exploration. If you want to search for another one, what are the ways of searching? Are there categories, are there names? there's no hint that will tell you there's a search button here but searching is difficult because you need to know the name of the game so you need you need recalling the name it's much better to start with a browse interface by categories and then find and then find by similarity you can also search by name but it looks like you either find it in this icon hall or you need to remember the name um, also the menu of the system is very well uh, there's a risk of confusing the main menu with another game hmm? uh, this one is a gambling website It doesn't invite me a lot because mainly it's uh, it looks like a concentration of uh, advertisements from the color from the shape and it's, uh, it's very dark uh, little fonts hmm? what uh, 
and uh, so it's a lot of graphics that don't, don't really contribute live casino and slot and jackpot and casino games sorry live casino and casino games are in different categories and slots and jackpots and slots game uh, slot uh, competitions shouldn't they be together or at least close to each other hmm? and uh, that's an interesting book uh, <laughs> Uh, if you want you can have a look at it's called uh, ev evil by design uh, so in this case they are trying to you know uh, attract you for going to bet and to lose some money on their website because it's for losing not for winning remember always um, and th this author here uh, analyzed the design criteria design tools uh, based on the seven things of, uh, of the seven uh, pride slot gluttony anger envy uh, the seven things of the um, of the bible and uh, and they describes design techniques uh, for exploiting these instincts of the people for doing evil so for exploiting people to your advantage and this is something that is inside uh, um, inside the design of many websites whose ultimate goal is to keep you engaged or to draw money or time from you they use these techniques hmm? which is basically the opposite of the usability because they are manipulating you so uh, user control and freedom is totally lost with these design techniques so it's nice to be able to recognize those when you see them and the same goes here it's another uh, betting websites uh, there's a lot of information just to confuse you all these numbers here make you feel like you know a lot and so you can bet uh, with a uh, good uh, mathematical knowledge of what you're doing but actually they're just confusing you because they don't really give you any useful information hmm? this one was a, a, a website for selling video games uh, and it was uh, judge it positively there are clear separation from the catalog categories and special offers and comments also sorts of comments with all the engagement so there's a lot of visibility for example this one the price the discount the time remaining and it's clear identified the layout clearly separates three different parts browse highlights and special offers and advertisement but it's not a outside advertisement or something else but it's something that advertises a product on that website so reinforces the sales of the website um, okay this one is also an example in the books uh, about uh, uh, probably a car rental service but <laughs> it's very difficult to tell um, this one is selling water so something that they, they bring water to your home uh, you just count the number of different colors and fonts that are on this page without any any consistency hmm? just because somebody learned how to change the font um, this is a company that provides you some uh, um, project so if you want to do something about uh, electrical installation you go to them and they provide an estimate for the work so this work will cost you 2000 or whatever the issue is that all the real information is, is behind this block information and uh, estimation a preventive all the rest is just confusing and is hiding the real content so there's a resolution issue probably was designed for smaller screen so this would come out larger than the rest uh, in proportion but then why do you put the besides contacts so this is what your your this is a, a, a it's a business lead it's the way that you attract new new customers it's the way that you make profit and you put it beside the telephone number and the address and the uh, at the other legal comments hmm? you should turn it around 
eBay was not uh, well considered mainly because it's actually complex to use there are many different ways you can sell an object and so on um, Amazon of course is the is the examples to go when you're looking to some idea or designs a couple of users found Glovo useful uh, it looks it looks like a game but actually it has a very good starting point for search these big buttons and uh, it's nice that the other category this is what I like is in the center hmm? it's a uh, usual other is the last one in the corner because we didn't know in this case it's okay and it gives you time uh, the idea of try to explore something new so it's a it's a way of exploiting to their advantage the the complexity of classification this is uh, what was that uh, well I don't know the websites bank uh, for selling and so it's another eBay like uh, a website so you can you can have a look this one of course is a very minimal one there's a website for doing one thing selling one product and this one also for water bottles there's a lot of uh, visibility here a lot of customization a lot of error recovery you can change your idea many many times uh, uh, around and so on mm -hmm. okay just a few clicks about money handling uh, uh, applications for the official ones usually this is an example of a, a screenshot that is totally useless because it doesn't show the real application at work it's just an ad mm -hmm. um, but there are there's an a domain of uh, application that helps you for managing your money usually the official ones are not so good but the other ones uh, are well organized uh, there are a couple of them that were mentioned uh, where you can track your expenses track your the, the money that you owe to your friends and so on hmm? and this one is the mm, uh, okay it's okay we i use it every day uh, okay uh about fun and games uh, there is some information about let's say a, a, a festival here a sports festival but again it's the, these strong backgrounds are really h hiding the information that you need to see mm -hmm. and there's no all these events uh, there's no clear way of s understanding whether they are sorted by by category or by date uh, or by location which is what you are looking for when you're browsing a long list of events hmm? this one is much simpler of course it's only one one website um, this was nice libero mail the title says mail actually it has a lot of other, other functionality so the horoscope the weather and some ads uh, other services uh, news uh, and the mail is only one corner of that so the functionality of, webs of the website is, uh, is out of scope with respect to the goal, to the declared goal. This is our Outlook. Outlook is not bad in general, but for example, it's much com very complex. At the beginning, there's a scary empty space here. Why do we leave that empty? Hmm? Uh, this is another screenshot that is useless because it's an ad but uh, they say dropbox is good and facebook uh, facebook also is good and whatsapp is good of course we are talking about bigger companies one thing that uh, uh, is strange that all the system utilities are really bad from the usability point of view because a lot of designers are too nerd for thinking about how the users are using these applications for setting parameters uh, converting files uh, so a lot of there's the there's no priority in the functionality okay what are the most important functions and uh, let's give them more prominence in the, the interface more visibility and there's a lot of te uh, technical terms uh, in all of these uh, applications so there are the examples here audacity for example is very powerful but it's really difficult to use uh, this one is something for tuning a graphical uh, board a gpu 
it looks like a video game a, a racing video game probably it, it looks like the dashboard of a car so there are actually no match no, no useful metaphor for matching the content of the screen with the actual functionality it's a failure from this point of view uh, this other is a PDF reader that only reads PDF, so it doesn't let you browse files and doesn't let you share them, doesn't let you delete them. So you need to go back and forth between different applications to do, to do something. Oh, this is from Adobe. It's not a this is a, the only system utility that was find useful because that again one functionality, very big, and then all the details are there, but they don't care any. That probably they are not really related um okay probably i'll stop here because there are no really interesting examples here in the office category you can have a look at there's nothing to to comment hmm. so it was a, a quick overview uh the idea is that many of the problems of the interface that we find that we see are easy, easy are more easily described if, if we refer to the heuristics and also by going through the list of heuristics uh, you will ask yourself more questions and you will find probably more problems um, at this point i i'd like to start and we all, of course we will complete uh, uh, on next uh, tuesday but we have 10 minutes today to start the last the, the next chapter so let's imagine we have the evaluation of our prototypes okay right now, right now the prototypes uh, focused on the content what is on the screen what is useful how to call it where to put it and so on next step will be converting that into a real screenshot into a real design hmm? so that's what we visual design is giving a real appearance with colors fonts spaces and so on to what uh, has been validated at the prototype level so we are starting development uh, really at least for the uh, visual part and uh, design is design of a single page uh, which has to be coupled with navigation so how to move uh, through different pages uh, the goal of design is not uh, making uh, nice looking stuff it's not just aesthetics so you don't need uh, we don't need to be artists uh, we don't need to be able to draw or to have a particular taste in colors or whatever because the goal of design is to guide the users to the information they need to showing them the way uh, and to actually conveying the meaning of the website and this works through the user's brains you are exploiting the the wiring of the user brain to give more information through a lot of visual clues hmm? uh, so artistic skills are not really needed for making a good design they may help for making a good uh, maybe background or for choosing a color combination or for making a logo but they are not the ones that are needed uh, for design for for uh, the visual design for usability the main difference is that designs need to be practical art doesn't need to be practical just that needs to be nice beautiful hmm? i'm not commenting the art installation in the main corridors here hmm? um, so for example imagine you have this information to convey to your user from the design point of view this is very bad to understand this you need to read it twice and understand it in your mind uh, what what it's saying hmm? so with the same content how can we use some visual information to help the user grasp grasp the content first of all the most important design tool visual design tool is space spacing empty spaces the empty makes room for the full let's put some spaces separate with a little half a, half a line of empty space 
it's the same text but it's much easier to read now you read it and you understand it is maybe half the time much more efficient and it tells you that the, the, we have four topics to deal we have four items to, to tell you hmm? they are the same items as before but in this case before you, had, you have to figure out that there are four topics in this case even before you start reading that's why you are explained in the subconscious of the brain before you start reading just by glancing at this you know that we have four items spacing and then styling all this text has the same font size we can use font sizes together with the spacing to give uh, priorities to give hierarchy to give grouping to the content so again it's the same text as before we have actually more information here because layout and colors were not mentioned before we made this text smaller this text bigger and we converted the text uh, first let's start with text with just a title text of course you start with text the first one people don't need to be told what a title is they know by themselves so you will remove words you make space and you convey more meaning the ratio of signal to noise increases more information in less characters less pixels probably hmm? and then just another trick uh, is also using uh, alignment so in this case it's a very bad uh, form of, of indent indentation already the font size in this case was was enough to, to tell us that these three are part of this huh? but right now it's more explicit this sentence here at the top has been converted into a title a section title we are inside basic visual design a small cap small capital in the corner it's uh, what you expect for having on the margin of a page uh, with the title of the chapter so there's n it's, no it's not something you need to read uh, it's something that reminds you of wh where you are it's a context clue mm. and also we are emphasizing the important words that we are defining here this is something that we do normally when we preparing prepare slides or we prepare some reports it's a normal typography which is at the core of the layout hmm? and uh, mm, the other so the, the effect of spacing and of course the content between the space is uh, to have a recognizable page structure so i took a website and they blurred it so even if i cannot read I can recognize the, par the some parts of the website there is clearly a, ti a title portion something at the top centered and in this case it's separated by a line from the rest and it's full white one column below that we have many columns content so the heading is separated from the content from the visual point of view we can we can't read what is there but before we we start reading we already have classified the top portion and the bottom portion of the page as heading and content and so we won't spend one millisecond more on the heading because our eyes will look for the content that we want and we see that there are two types of articles those on the left and those on the right you see there is a big separation here the right articles have a different background have a different layout uh, picture with text below and in this case the, the layout is, is different 
and so probably there are a different type of uh, of articles we don't know which type uh, at this level of, of, uh, of blurriness but they are different from these ones and it, it look it's uh, it's more like uh, editorials or expert article rather than the more um, la latest news uh, part which is on the left hmm? so, but they always they already telling us there are two types of articles some are more important than others some are larger than others so there, there's a lot of the they, they they will say without even reading a, a word hmm? and what they are playing on for getting the results text which is space fonts and alignment so you have the left alignment for the text uh, this is larger this is smaller you it is even smaller you change they change the fonts and so on small clues but somebody had to decide them pixel by pixel what to put there um, the spacing here that separated the two types uh, the color here and uh, the color should be not too many you should have a, a small palette of consistent colors in this case they only have white black and blue actually they have two, sh two shades in blue and one shade of background which is already three blues and uh, I don't like how these two blues mix together it seems like a mistake in, in hue hmm? but it's a choice here and uh, we spend a lot of uh, some, some time in discussing about uh, the, the grid in which the elements are positioned because we are not desi uh, designing one page, uh, but we are designing a system for uh, handling the content. Okay, Google is very easy to recognize. You may not even see that there's a footer at the bottom, because all your attention is focused there. There's a bar, there's also something in the corner there, but you don't see them until you look for them. So it's uh, and uh, what's the trick for attracting your attention here? Emptiness. There's only one thing to look at. Something to write and a big color "Look at me" sign. Stack Overflow, our friend. Uh, again, if I blur it. I can still recognize the structure there's some navigation on the left there's a big content in the center which is made of different lines and these lines are all structured in the same way some text and some numbers and some context information on the right in boxes so we don't care what's written but we can navigate our eyes in this space in this page you can we know wh where to look for mm. and uh, something that comes to our eyes is the different background here so the first question we ask yourself is what's the difference with between white and uh, colored questions is the only they are not alternating so it's not just a visual issue it, it should have some meaning and in fact it has some meaning which is reinforced by the fact that the, uh, they should have a, an accepted answer or not hmm? about the color. And so they are using all these tricks. Hmm? This one is a trip advisor again. Hmm? A lot of space between the elements. They are not trying to squeeze every pixel. A horizontal separation between the heading, the navigation, that also contains the navigation, and some sections inside hmm? blocks here with pictures of different categories this block here is different from that one and usually conventionally the right hand side is for context the center is for content so the main content will be here and this usually you expect something related to your main content in many websites you have your le left navigation right context or exp further exploration or related stuff hmm? so you are expecting that we don't see it but we expect that something that they search for or suggested for me or something which is 
important destination highlights or something like that which is not really about me but it's uh, about some offer some related stuff and so on mm -hmm. so these are the the basic elements so the next week we'll go into more detail into some of these categories mm -hmm. so to have also some tools ourselves uh, to, to do the design mm -hmm. according to this criteria okay sorry for being a couple of minutes late